Pro is very essential if you're trying to make money online from the comfort of your home, especially if you're running a faceless YouTube channel. And most especially if you're running an African folktail channel, because you can't really run an African folktail channel without Canva Pro, else you're going to find it very, very difficult. And most people can't afford to pay for Canva Pro, especially when they're just starting out. And that is why I'm making this video, because I found an AI tool that is going to help you bypass some of the things that you get on Canva Pro totally for free. Now, if this is something that you're interested in, please come closer and let's dive in. So to get started, all you have to do is to come over to your browser and visit iPhoto.ai. All right, so now that it's open, the next thing we're going to do is to go ahead and create an account with iPhoto.ai. And once it opens, you're going to go ahead and sign in with your Google account. The next thing you're going to do is to go ahead and sign in with your Google account by clicking sign in with Google. And then put in your password and Click on next. All right, so now we have successfully signed into iPhoto and here you can see a lot of options here. And here you have AI fashion model. With this, you don't need to hire models anymore. All you need to do is to just use this AI and the AI is going to go ahead and put on all the outfits that you want it to put on that is if you sell clothes or you want to sample clothes or if you're working on a project and you need to sample different outfits. So with this, you no longer need to hire models. I've done a tutorial on this before. In the past, I'm going to leave the link in the description or you can go ahead and click here to watch it. Of course, after watching this video, all you have to do is to just go ahead and sign up on the platform and go through all the options that they have here. Like this one is face swap. With face swap, you don't need to work on consistent images. If you're running an African folktale faceless YouTube channel and you're having issues with consistency see all you have to do is to just generate a normal picture and then you're going to swap the face using this tool i'm super excited about this tool and that is why i wanted to share it with you guys but that's not all i have to share with you here i want to show you how you can use this to bypass canva pro and to do that all you have to do is come over to your browser and visit iphoto.ai forward slash free background remover. I've added the link in the description for your convenience. All you have to do is just go ahead and click on it and it's going to bring you here. So now that we are here, you can see free background remover absolutely for free gives you 10,000 images per month. Now this is cool. If you're running an African folktale channel, one of the biggest challenges is expanding the picture that you generated with either Binge or Meta AI because they generate a square picture and you can use your square picture to create a video. It's not going to look good. So at the end of the day, you need to expand it on Canva, but unfortunately you can only do that if you have Canva Pro, which a lot of people can't afford. And that is why I'm making this video to show you how you can use this tool to bypass that, right? So once you get here, all you have to do is to go ahead and upload the image that you want to expand by clicking upload images. And then you're going to go ahead and select the image that you want to remove the background. And the good thing about this platform is that you can batch remove background. So you don't have to do it one after the other. So let's say you generated 100 pictures all you have to do is to select all of them, all of them, all the 100 pictures. So now that I've selected the pictures that I want to remove the background, the next thing I want to do is to go ahead and click on open. No other service gives you this for free. I mean, you can get a lot of background removers there, but they don't allow batch remove. And they also do not offer you HD if you're using the free version. But with this one, the HD is completely free and you don't even need a credit card or a debit card to subscribe to the free version. So everything is free. All you have to do is to just sign up with your email address and you're good to go. All right, so now you can see that it's done processing the image. And all we have to do next is to click on download all images. But if you want to download specific images, all you have to do is to just click on download and you download the specific image that you want to use. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and download all images like so. All right, so now you have this iPhoto batch remove background.zip. We're going to go ahead and click on save. And voila, you can see that it has downloaded to my device. And now we are going to move over to the second stage. And that is come over to your browser and you're going to go over to meta.ai. So now that it has opened, the next thing we're going to do is to click on videos. And then you click on create a blank. And now that it has opened, the next thing we're going to to do is to go ahead and upload the images that we downloaded from iPhoto.ai. But remember that this is in zip folder, so you have to first unzip it before you can then upload it to your Canva. And to do that, all you have to do is to just go over to your download folders, which is this one, right click on it, and you're going to go ahead and click on extract files. 
okay and then click on okay and it's going to extract all the files to your device so now we have the transparent images here how cool is this you can see hd quality so now that i have this the next thing i'm going to go ahead and do is upload the images that i just extracted which are this one so i'm just going to go ahead and highlight everything and click on open and i'm going to just go back in immediately and i'm going to go over to downloaded folders and i'm going to also upload these images that i generated from meta.ai okay so now that i have the both of them what I'm going to do next is to go ahead and bring in my image like so. So this is the image that I want to use. So whatever the video is about, I'm I just want to use this image, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and centralize it like so. And once that is done, the next thing we're going to do is to go ahead and bring in our background. So I'm just going to go ahead and select this one like so. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag it like so to centralize it like so. Okay, it's now in the center. So I'm going to drag it like so. Perfect, perfect. So now we have it like so. And the next thing I'm going to do is to make sure that I remove the Meta AI logo. So I'm just going to push this down. And now that I have this like so, I'm just going to go ahead and click on position and I'm going to send this to back. Okay, click to back. And now the position is behind. And now I know it's looking kind of weird, not looking realistic, and that is easy to fix. To fix that is very easy. All you have to do is to just drag this image and you're going to put it like so, put them like so, so that their foot will be cut out. And this is amazing. The next thing you're going to do is to throw on some shadows and you're good to go. And to do that, all you have to do is to click on edit and you're going to go ahead and click on shadows like so and you're going to go ahead and click on drop so now we have some shadows and we're going to change the angle of the shadow okay we're going to change the angle of the shadow so let's go ahead and play around the shadow to see the shadow okay just add the blur just a little bit add it like so and we are good to go so even if you bring it upwards it still has some shadows Although I'll show you another thing you can do to this image to make it very realistic other than doing it like this. So this is good. So all you need to do to make it ultra realistic is to come over to elements and search for learns flares. And we're going to go ahead and use the one that is not pro. So you see the ones that are pro, all these ones are pro. So we're going to go ahead and filter out the pro by clicking on free. And then we're going to come back here. And this is the flare that we have here. So what we're going to do next is to select any flare that we want. And we can just put it somewhere here. Okay. Somewhere here. Like so. Just to sell a little effect. Just to have a little flare come from the sky and touch them a little bit just to sell the effect just just a little bit right so this with this you're good to go and now that is ready the next thing you're going to go ahead and do is to go ahead and click on share and go ahead and click on download and again you're going to download it as png and not an mp4 if not it's not going to work when you start using it to edit your video so now that we've selected png i'm going to go ahead and click on download and it's going to download straight to my device so this way i don't have to pay for canva pro to be able to expand my images right now here is the next video that i recommend that you watch on this channel to learn more ways you can make money online from the comfort of your home so go ahead and watch it and thank me later see you on the other side <laughs> ciao <laughs>